In this video, we're going to be looking at setting up a personal calendar in high level and syncing it with Google and Outlook calendars. Yes, you guessed it, high level has a fully function feature pack calendar system which allows you to replace Calendly or any other scheduling software. Here I am at the high level dashboard. I'm going to head over to settings and I'm going to choose calendars. To begin, I'm just going to select new calendar. What we're looking for here is just to create a simple calendar. So choose that. This window pops up here. You need to give your calendar a name. And you can also add a description. Both the calendar name and description will appear on the calendar booking page. So be careful what you put in there. You also need to add a custom URL. Uh, this can be anything, but it needs to be unique. So for this, I'm just going to make up a random selection. Uh, you'll find that if you try and use my booking calendar, it's most likely already taken. So you just have to come up with a unique phrase. From here, we can select the meeting duration. I think for this, we're going to choose a one hour meeting. And just below, there are very basic settings in order to select uh, what time you will be available to book on this calendar. Meeting location allows you to add a specific virtual or physical location to a meeting. For example, if you're holding webinars, you could enter a Zoom link in here and I'll show you where it is you need to connect your Zoom account in a moment. And with these details filled out, we can just click confirm. And with the calendar created in high level, we're given a couple of pieces of code here. The first is the link. You can supply that to your contacts, customers, clients, and they can visit that link and use your calendar. Below is the embed code. Say for example, you have a website and you wanted to embed the calendar on one of the pages. You can copy the iframe and paste it into your website. I'm just gonna click preview calendar, so which, which would be the same as this link here. Let's have a look and see what we've got. And as you can see, here is the calendar in full, so we can send people directly to this link or we can embed it on a WordPress website. And there's also a handy feature, which I'll cover shortly, where we can add it to the high level pages. Back in my high level account and with the calendar built, we can actually head on over back to the dashboard. And if you click on calendars, you'll see you have a fully functioning personal calendar inside of high level, which you can use to book appointments and run your business from. But what if you already have a calendar? Maybe you're using Google calendars or Outlook. In this case, you want to make sure that any appointments booked in this calendar will automatically sync with your external calendar and vice versa. So in order to sync our calendars, we simply head back to settings, go to calendars. And if you come up here in the top menu and click connections. On this page, in order to sync your Google Calendar, simply come down here and select Connect. And you will be taken to the integrations page where you need to integrate your Google account with your high level sub account. Click the sign in with Google button and follow the instructions. With the connection now made to Google Calendars, and it's a very similar process in Outlook Calendars as well. Return to your calendar settings and come over to the drop down over here and just click edit. This will bring up the advanced settings within the calendar. From here, we can adjust the main settings, so the calendar name, description, or even add a calendar logo. Under availability, you will be able to fine tune the times and days which are available in this calendar. Under forms and payments, you can adjust the form associated with the calendar. This just uses the default one, but you can build your own forms inside the form settings in high level. You can adjust the consent message and you can adjust the confirmation page, either display a default message or redirect to a URL in your website. Under notifications and additional options, this controls the acknowledgement email that is sent when somebody books an appointment. You can choose below who is to receive the acknowledgement email. In this case, we'll choose contact, who's the person who booked the appointment, but you can also specify other email addresses as well. Under connections, we need to choose our calendar that we synced earlier. And then you are presented with three syncing options. One way sync will show any appointments booked in the Google Calendar also inside your high level calendar. It will not add anyone who's added via the Google Calendar to high level. 
but it will sync both ways so that both slots are booked up in both calendars. For two-way sync, High Level will find who is invited in the Google Calendar, create a contact record for them in High Level, and fire off any triggers associated with the calendar. Smart Sync is a halfway point. If an appointment is created in the Google Calendar and your contact is not found in your High Level contacts, High Level will not add them as a contact, but will still block off the time in your High Level Calendar. Alternatively, if an appointment is booked in the Google Calendar and there is a contact inside your High Level contacts, it will fire off any triggers associated with that calendar. For this, I'm just going to choose one way. And finally, under customizations, here you can add a calendar cover image. You can choose between the Neo or the classic styles, add some CSS, and permit or deny rescheduling and cancelling. This information here will be appended to the bottom of the confirmation acknowledgement email. You can easily switch off, cancel, and reschedule if you choose. So with our calendar fully customized, just come over here and click Save. And there you go, your high-level calendar is now synced with your Google Calendar. Returning to the drop-down, you can copy the embed code from here or copy a link if you wish to send it to a contact. As I mentioned, you can also add it to a high-level web page, which I'll show you now. So here I am inside the high-level page builder. To add your calendar, simply click full width for a section, click one column to add a row. Click Add Element and simply select your calendar from the drop down box here. And if we preview that page, you'll see the calendar in full. And obviously, you can design this page to look better with your branding, 